हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एम चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू क्रिएट अ डैशबोर्ड इन डाइन एड्रेस सो दिस इज जस्ट अ डेमो डैशबोर्ड दैट आई हैव क्रिएटेड प्रीवियसली बट टू क्रिएट अ न्यू डैशबोर्ड वी हैव टू गो टू डैशबोर्ड सेक्शन नाउ हियर वी विल क्रिएट a dashboard click on create dashboard button give a name suppose application status dashboard i am creating now click on create so that is now open to create dashboard we have this various types of tiles here that we can use to create monitoring dashboard in dynatrace here are so many types of tiles that we can use and every tile has a specific use so let's try this graph you can double click or you can select and drag the tile in this dashboard before that i will add one another tile here so let's click on them here again edit i will add one markdown and this in this markdown we can add some helpful links that may be for our use or for the support engineers use perspective that could be anything suppose our uh, documentation links suppose i'm just uh, giving one website name here also you can take anything that you think would be needful to your engineers and <clears throat> you can modify this like any way in double star that text will be bold you can see here and in bracket that is the link or that is the clickable button here we can click to open that link and in uh in this bracket we can add our link here so click on done so this way we can add a markdown tile again we can add one header let me add it here and then i will suppose this is my header and i will edit it click on this pen tool now suppose this is my website and suppose i am adding this dashboard for this website status can drag it like this like this 
click on this right button to save this is your markdown tile now let's configure this graph click on configure and from here we can select the matrix that we want You can select the specific matrix from here. So you can click on run query. We can select this specific uh, options in this drop down button and this drop down section here we can select count average maximum minimum percentiles also we can split this response time by synthetic events also i can filter this if we have multiple matrix here i can filter that with specific required uh, as per synthetic event name or tag or id or as per health state so you can run query once the graph is uh, as per your requirement or if that is giving the helpful information for you and then you can also add some thresholds here like if uh, suppose the load the load the loading of the page is is within less than uh, suppose this is in milliseconds suppose 1000 milliseconds so that would be in green if that is more than suppose uh, or let's say two thousand milliseconds it will show in yellow color and more than that or greater than five thousand would be in red in red color so this way we can set the thresholds so click on save changes to dashboard now we can give title to this name I can click on this button to go to my that dashboard at last browse dashboard again I can edit I can select the multiple tiles from here I can also use this filter tab This will show the open problems currently that are in open state and the three is the other problems that are in closed state so click on done again again click on edit i can also add this host health 
né? I have added one host only, so it is showing green status. Click on done. Also, I can move these styles on edit, select, and move the tile wherever we want. on done again i will add network status or network matrix here this will show the current traffic the transmission rates and connectivity of the network click on done if you want to ch check more or in detail uh details of the this matrix you can select uh, you can click on this and click on view details and you can see here the this is my post that i have added for monitoring same like other details as well click on just simple click Click on view details that will show you the more details. Click on this dot, this will show me the synthetic event of this response time. This is my website. So I'm getting this details. In this tab in synthetic tab same we can same way we can add multiple tiles here which can give us the current status of our services i will add top web applications here this is the demo with demo content here click on done click on this style edit style if you have multiple management zones you can select that specific management zone from here but as of now i only have one management zone also you can uh, create or add the matrix from any specific uh, page like you are you are uh, checking matrix in smartscape tip topology and you can see here it is showing one process in red This is showing the IS application pool, which is saying unavailable process because in this host it doesn't have the uh, that much of amount of memory. That's why this application pool is shutting down and it's getting up again and again. That's why these are this is showing shutdown and running status in here. That's why the availability of this application pool is fifty four percent. From eight hours, So suppose 
I'm checking my applications. go to this my application and i can pin this section on my dashboard that i have created recently just i have to click on pin to dashboard it will select that dashboard name here or you can also select a, another dashboard if you want to pin that details in add that details to any other dashboard so i'll click on pin i can also open that dashboard from here as well if I want any another details, I can also pin that one. Suppose this is one service from my host. I can check the response time. I can check more details in this. I'll click on create analysis view. It will now show me more details. And then I will click on create metric. This is not supported. I will click on save view. I will name it. And click on save that is the view so we can add many ways this matrix in our dashboard but as of now i don't have that much of data to add in that dashboard If I want, I can share. <clears throat> Here is my application. Click on done. I can also share this dashboard to my another users with my another users like click on share advanced settings click on share dashboard and you have to add a grant access permission you can select the name of the specific user here or you can share this dashboard with any specific group Select the name of that group in this tab drop down and click on save. Also, you can change what type of view we want to allow to that group. You can that users can edit this dashboard or only for view. You can select this specific action from here and click on save changes. Also, as of now, I'll click on any user with the link and I'll copy this link and I'll share this link with that users who who wants to access this dashboard.
and I will click on save changes. So this way I can share my dashboard, dashboard with another users. So that's it in this video. Thank you for watching.